What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to talk about the stock memory in the Asus Strix G15 compared to an upgrade overclock memory and what performance boost you can expect to get by switching out your memory on your Asus laptop. I'm Sol and let's do tech. So a while back I made a video about how to upgrade the internal components of your laptop. And one of the components that I upgraded was the RAM. And I received a few questions about what performance uh, impact in upgrading the RAM had on my machine. And in this video, I'd like to take you through my finding. When this laptop was first released, it was released to the public with 16 gigabytes of RAM. But the issue was that the RAM was only one stick. Um, later on, Asus fixed the problem and shipped it out with two sticks of 80 gigabytes each. This is the version that I have. I don't have the 16 gigabyte one, but what I'm gonna to try to do is replicate some of that scenario for you by using one stick in some of my benchmarking. So you can see the differences between running two sticks uh, and running one stick as far as performance goes for your games. So in order to establish a baseline, let's go ahead and start with one stick of eight gigabytes of RAM. Uh, this is a stock memory made by Micron. So here we have Cyberpunk 2077 running at 1080p with one stick of 8 gigabytes of RAM. These are the average frame rates that I was getting during the benchmark. And now what I would like to do is run that exact same test using the stock memory, but this time we'll do the two times eight gigabyte configuration. Near the results above with the two sticks of RAM, as you can see, the frame rates definitely doubled. Uh, this is again, Cyberpunk 2077, uh, 1080p. Uh, the blue is on medium, and then we have the high and ultra up on the top. So now that we established a baseline with the stock memory, I'd like to bring in the overclocked memory I purchased from Amazon. So this is the Kingston Fury Impact DDR4. I purchased the 32 gigabyte times two for a total of 64 gigabyte. Now, I don't think everybody should go out there and buy the 64 gigabyte package. That might be a little bit of overkill. I run a lot of virtual machines, so I need the extra RAM, but I think between 16 to 32 is a really sweet spot to be for memory upgrade. So when you're looking at some of these prices, consider it as what you're doing with your computer and then purchase the RAM upgrade accordingly. So two things that are nice about this particular memory is the first is the CL20, which is the latency, which is nice and low. Also, it does have the automatic overclocking functionality. So basically, the second you put it in, it will automatically overclock to the highest possible frequency. And from my previous video, here's a screenshot showing the latency for the stock RAM, which is 22. So in order to remain consistent with my testing, I'm gonna run a test on this upgraded memory with just a single stick of 32 gigabytes of RAM. So here are the results for running that exact same game, Cyberpunk 2077, on the Kingston, uh, one stick of 32 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, we have 1080p medium on the bottom and 1080p ultra on the top. So for reference, here are the results that we have with the stock memory compared to this one stick of overclocked memory. And up next, we're gonna run the exact same test, but this time with two sticks of 32 gigabytes of memory to see if we get a boost in performance. So here are the results of running that game again, this time with two 32 gigabytes of RAM. Um, again, there's an average FPS with uh, medium settings on the bottom and ultra settings on the top running at 1080p. So here are the results of all four tests compared to each other. So you can see all the results. There's definitely an increase in performance with the new RAM. And here are the results of just running the stock RAM, uh, two sticks against running the overclocked RAM, two sticks as well. And for good measure, I also ran the test at 1440. So here are the results between the stock memory and upgraded Kingston memory with two sticks. So here we have the same test, but this time with GTA 5. What I did is I flipped the axes on the chart a little bit so it's easier to compare between the dual 16 gigabyte stock Micron in blue and the 64 gigabyte Kingston uh, dual dims uh, in gray. So this gives us a good idea of the FPS improvements between the two memory. 
And here are the results for GTA 5 running at 1440. So we can see, again, there's significant uh, FPS improvement with the upgraded memory. And here we have the results for Horizon Zero Dawn uh, running at 1080p uh, with the dual 64 Kingston in yellow and the dual 16 GB stock Micron in orange. And again, for a good measure, here are the results of that exact same game running at 1440. As we can see, there is still significant improvement with the upgraded uh, RAM. And the last game for this benchmark series is The Witcher 3. Again, this is a 1080p average FPS, Kingston in yellow, while the stock micro memory is in orange. And here are the results for The Witcher 3 running at 1440, again with the Kingston in yellow and the stock memory in orange. So in conclusion, upgrading your memory will have an impact on your FPS. So if you're looking for that competitive edge, definitely consider upgrading your memory from the stock memory. Uh, that extra latency improvement on having a CL20 compared to the CL22 definitely will show you some good results. Thank you for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Also, please consider subscribing. Thank you again. I'm Saul. Have a great rest of your day.